We're good. We're good. Okay. Now you should be able to hear me. What I was rambling about was that I was eating a banana, which uh, is not good stream food. Uh, not the most attractive thing to be eating on camera. So <laughs> I was just shoving a banana in my face before I started streaming. I also look like uh, one of the wet bandits today. But that's because my hair was being very floofy and I'm like sort of cold, sort of not cold in my studio right now. So I was like, eh, let's just, let's just rock the wet bandit look. It's all good. Uh, hooray for happy mail. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Sacred Wild Soul, hello, How, how's it going? Yeah, sorry, I, I, I thought I had my stuff together here uh, with my audio, clearly. I did not, I forgot that I muted the button on my actual mic. Uh, hey, Red, how's it going? Welcome. We're getting right into it because there's a lot of stuff that I'm trying to do. Um, I almost did another shop stream today because I do have a lot more shop stuff to do, but I'm also like, I need to keep going on this tarot card project. I have goals. I want to get these cards done. I want to keep making progress. Um, we're probably going to work on uh, the Wheel of Fortune. We are still working on the Wheel of Fortune, so that's probably what we're going to get to, but I need to warm my hands up because uh, we're gonna be doing some, some very tiny detail work and I have not done any drawing as of this morning. Um, so I need to get my hand warmed up. So for that, I'm gonna do some detailing in a art journal spread that I'm currently working on. So we're gonna get the art journal spread uh, inked that will warm up my hands and then we can toggle back to all those bones and branches we started uh, two streams ago. I need to get those puppies done. So that's what we're gonna be working on. Hey, Mad Hatta, how's it going? Wow, your hair looks so cute. Also, hi. Hi, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm realizing some of you guys might not have seen me with the blonde hair yet. Uh, yes, it's being very floofy today, so. Devil Snare, hey, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Nikki, how are you? I love your shirt. Thank you so much. Uh, I love these famous monster shirts. They're great, and they just get softer over time. I collect them when I go to Comic-Con, or used to go to Comic-Con. It's been a while. Hey, Breeze and Sky, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Zig, hi, welcome. Postal, hello, hello, hello. Oh, by the way, I did put up uh, a channel points icon. You'll see I've put the little um, poison apple thing. So I think you used to see just a plain old purple dot and now it's a little um, poison green apple thing, which I also just got made into stickers. So that's going to be coming soon as stickers. Okay. This is one of the several spreads that I am working on. Hey, Roz, how's it going? I have a Godzilla verse cosmic monster shirt. Nice. I love, I love horror and spooky shirts to death. I love them so much. Uh, yeah, going to work on this. As you can see, I'm in the middle of outlining all these bananas. So that's what we're going to keep doing. And that will be the perfect warm-up thing for all of those branches and bones we gotta do. Which is super detailed, super tiny stuff. Uh, I definitely need to have my hand warmed up for all this. These guys. Actually, I forgot. We inked a lot last time to see how it would look. Um, but I still need to detail them. So we're gonna be working on all those uh, in a little bit. I'd like a Puppet Master shirt. Oh yeah, that would be a good one to add to the collection. I have a lot of um, Universal Monsters shirts because I love the Bride of Frankenstein, so I have a lot of those. I feel like I need to expand. Uh, I Although I did just get, uh, not that long ago, my Lost Boys sweatshirt, which I love very much. Um, sorry, I'm turning this at a weird angle because I need it sideways for me to work on it. But I'll bring you in a little closer. A little bit closer. Ooh, love this spread. Thanks, guys. Spread looks awesome. Thank you. Yeah, work in, work in progress. Uh, it's getting there. Um, it's getting there. I don't know if it's near completion, but... I didn't change my water out because I figured I'm, I'm doing mostly black ink stuff today, so I'm not really that worried about it. Get some ink going. How's everyone's week going? I haven't streamed yet this week because um, Lurch was having some health issues. Um, 
he's doing better. He's doing much better. Uh, some sort of stomach bug of some sort. Um, according to my vet. Sorry, I'm trying to get this in focus. So starting over the weekend, we had lots of uh, explosive pug poops, just liquid explosive dog poop everywhere. We would literally pick him up and it would just come out like a cannon. Not to be gross, but that's literally what I've been dealing with. <laughs> so, um, you know, I was a little scared to, uh, to live stream while I have a dog, you know, uh, pooping all over the place. Um, he has since on medication and it took a couple days for the meds to kick in, but now it's kicking in. Um, the poor guy, I know, poor Lurch, but thankfully he's been his normal self for the most part. Um, so that's good. Even though he's got like terrible liquid poops, he wasn't acting poor. He was like acting fine. Um, so it was kind of just like a weird, a weird stomach bug that hopefully has passed. I don't know. My mom threw out my 12 inch blade figure because it creeped her out. Oh no! I paid $45 for it. Oh no! So that's, a, that's such a bummer, Zig. Hey, Ella, how's it going? Welcome. Um, happy to hear that my favorite snoring buddy is hopefully on the mend. Yeah, hopefully he's on the mend. I, I He seems a lot better. We have not had liquid poops for 24 hours. So I was like, okay, I think I can stream today. I don't think there's gonna be a poop explosion happening, so it's okay. Uh, hey, Milk, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, poor Lurchy guy. So he's not he's not behind me um, because uh, he's outside. <laughs> Thank God we have uh, a yard because uh, the cleanup just became really problematic. I mean, it was just like, and as most of you know, he has mobility issues. So when he was going, it was, it was messy. It was really messy. So, uh, yeah, thankfully we have an outdoor shower. So it was lots of, um, hosing, hosing him down and hosing towels and beds and lots of laundry. <laughs> it's been a festive couple of days to say the least. Uh, I got a 30 summer X plus Megalon figure from Japan. Wow. Zig, do you collect a lot of figures? It sounds like you've got a lot. I'm good, tired, but good. Just finished extremely... Uh, cleaning, just finished, extremely cleaning my desk. Oh, nice. Fill out so much garbage. Feels so good now. Oh, that's great. I love a clean workspace. Love a clean workspace and clearing stuff out. There's nothing better. Ooh, yeah, I really need to warm up. My hand is not, oh boy. My hand is not primed for detailing right now. If my hand can't handle it, something else I want to do is transfer my chariot hermit image. So we might have to do that if my hand is not up to par right now. I was also just cutting, I was cutting and spray painting cardboard before I started streaming for a separate project, which is not the best for your hand before doing detail work. Because my hands are a little shaky right now and I think it's from that. Let's just see. Let me just do a couple bananas and see if it gets better. Because <laughs> the last thing I want to do is be detailing those, uh, ugh, those branches and bones and be not, you know, feeling like I'm kind of screwing them up. I don't want to have to redraw anything. Do, 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 do. Hey, Ink, how's it going? Nice to see you. I know. I'm glad you caught the stream, Ink. I feel like I haven't seen you in here in a while. And right since I've started streaming again, I don't think I've seen you. Hey, gamer, how's it going? Bun is back, baby. That's right. That is right. Tiredness can't type without extreme mistakes. It's okay. All good. Hey, Yaddy, how's it going? Clean dust of the vest. Just trying to get ready for. Uh, ready to get three kids ready for online school. They do not like it. Ooh, I'm sure. Ooh, I can't imagine. Um, oh, man. I cannot imagine that. Um, it, being a parent right now is just tough, period. <laughs> any any age, really. But I do, I do sympathize for parents with kids at home doing the online schooling. That's... I, I can't imagine. 
I guess I can whisper the link to the collection pick to you because I don't have Discord. Uh, Discord. Yeah, sure, Zig. Yeah, go for it. I'd love to see your your collection. I can. Uh, I'll check it out after stream. Are whispers still a thing? Is that still a thing on Twitch? I don't even know. I'm gonna work on art spreads too. Nice. Yeah, I get that. Teaching online isn't fun either. Good luck. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Patience. I feel like you need a lot of patience and preparation for that. Uh, yeah, I'm Danish. That time difference. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, Ink, you've been making some awesome stuff lately, by the way. Uh, I feel like your work just, like, the past... I don't know. I've been following you for a while. I feel like the past like year. I don't know. I feel like your your work right now is awesome. Just as an outsider. Looking at it. And when it pops up in my feed, I'm always like, yes. Yes. Think I've been eking every time you like something. It's, I mean, your stuff has been so, it's been so great. I mean, I can see like your, I don't know what, if you're in like a renaissance right now or it's, your work's been really great for, for a while, but I feel like you're, you're just like really crushing it. Um, especially the April R challenge. Oh my gosh. It was hard not to like share your stuff in my story every day. <laughs> My goodness, for teachers, they're teachers of the best. Yeah. Oh. Figure out I'm to outline all of this. I don't know, guys. My hand is not in outline mode right now. It is like. Primed for detail work right now. Ugh, that's what I get for cutting cardboard. Our stream. God. Yes, all the love for great teachers. Amen. Yes. Hey, Fiona. How's it going? Makes me so sad when people talk about bad experiences with teachers. Oof, I know. Hey, Caroline. How's it going? We're really into abstract painting. Then something happened to my drawings. I can't explain it. Yeah, I could, I could, um, you can tell. You could tell, Ink, your, your drawings, like, shifted. Like, it, it's in, you're in like a, I don't know, you're in such a good sweet spot right now. I, I love it. Hey, LA Warship, how's it going? How are you? Oh my gosh, I haven't talked to you in ages. How's it going? Bananas are a thing right now, have you noticed? Yes. Um, well, they're a thing in my life right now because they have some personal meaning for me. That's why they pop up a lot. I haven't really explained in full detail why, but they have a, I have lots of symbolism in my work and bananas right now are a, a personal symbol for me in this season of my life at this current moment. That's why it comes comes up a lot. I may have just gotten back from the pub. Oh, nice, Caroline. Welcome. I love it. Coming in saucy. Love it. <laughs> uh, thank you, the Terra Project blows my mind. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, slow and steady. Slow and steady. Yeah, Fiona, I'm glad you could catch it. I started earlier today, so earlier, earlier stream. Hopefully hunger won't uh, kick me off too early. Um, the page, how's it going? Welcome. Oh, your page, your username is black on my side and I'm in dark mode. So it's like, 
I had to like really squint to see your name. I found you on the recommended channels page. Oh, awesome. What are we working on today? Uh, well, welcome to my stream. That's cool. You found me on the recommended page. Uh, right now I'm working on a, um, well, I'm trying to warm up my hand a little bit because uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of detailing stuff. Right now I'm working on one of my mixed media art journals. So this is a uh, art journal spread that I'm currently working on, trying to detail these little bananas here. And then after that, we're going to be working on my tarot card project, which has been a very, very long project. Uh, Fiona, thank you so much for that sub. Five months coming in hot. Thank you so much, Fiona, for giving me your prime sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so I'm, uh, then I'm going to be switching gears and working on tarot. I have a long-term tarot card project that I've been uh, working on for many years. Many, many years. And I'm back on Twitch trying to really uh, aggressively finish it. But um, i got to get my hand warmed up first, so I'm kind of warming my hand up on these bananas and then uh we're gonna be working on hopefully um the wheel of fortune today will be the card we're gonna be working on love the super cool thank you so much um is it belia belia bell can i just call you bell hi bell welcome to the stream glad you could make it and oh my god, I had a friend who was also doing tarot cards. And I think that is so cool. Yeah, there's so many um, really cool, unique artist tarot decks out there. Uh, it can be really addicting um, collecting decks from different artists and different interpretations and seeing different interpretations of it. Um, it's a lot of fun for sure. It's a lot of fun. I've always wanted to create my own deck, you know, in this kind of crazy mixed media style. Um, it's just taken, it's taken me a long time. I work very slow and my, my stuff is really detailed as you can see. So it just takes me a really long time. A really, really long time. Sorry, I'm missing some chat. Oh my gosh. Uh, how do I sub again? LA Worship, just, uh, I think you can connect. I think you are subbed already. I think. I'm not sure. Uh, you might be subbed already. Uh, there should be a subscribe button somewhere on whatever you're watching. And then if, you're, uh, if your Amazon is connect to your Twitch, you can actually, um, you get one free Twitch sub um, here. So you just have to connect your accounts there. Um, thank you for the follow, Paige. Thank you so much. Warming my hands up on these bananas. Yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of bananas right now. I don't know why. Um, you always get it. It's been yours uh, whenever I've been on Twitch since you started streaming. No one else has ever gotten it hard. Oh, Fiona, thank you so much. Oh, that makes me feel so special. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I don't own any decks, but I don't own any decks, but I want one so bad. Hey, dive in. Just just go for it, you know? Um, I guess it depends on if you just want to collect decks or if you want to try to learn. Because maybe that might influence your first deck that you get, you know? Although... It's supposed to be, uh, the, yeah, okay, yeah, I was just gonna say, uh, as I caught, I caught up with chat a little bit there, uh, your first deck should be gifted to you, technically. Um, I think that's the, the standard. I got a new Oracle deck a few days ago, the Prism Oracle deck. Oh, I think I've seen that. I think I know what you're talking about. Um, of course, I think it's called B or Bell. By the way, you got a correct, very good pronunciation. Oh, yay, okay, I, like, wasn't sure. Um, I'll call you Bell if that's cool. It sounds it sounds badass <laughs> uh, and yeah Paige I think a deck needs does need to be a, it doesn't need to be I mean that's just like the thing you know um, your first one gifted to you um, I think a first one to start with though is getting the Rider weight deck if I were you um, and it's 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 an affordable deck you can literally get it off Amazon if you want to learn this is like OG tarot uh, Whenever I gift people their first tarot deck, this is the deck that I get them. Because um, a lot of other decks are based on the imagery seen in this one. So this is a good a good starter deck. I actually have, um, in my Amazon favorites, I don't know where if that, that link is somewhere. I have a tarot section in my Amazon storefront uh, that has some of my favorite decks and stuff in there as well. If you're looking for other suggestions. I have two very basic sets uh, about when you start working on your deck. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. 
uh, I'm gonna learn what I feel like I'm gonna wait for it to be gifted. I feel like that's part of the fun. Yeah, for sure. I, I get totally get that. It's fun being the giver too of someone who doesn't have a deck yet either. Uh, have you ever used a Ouija board? No, and I don't plan on it. No way, Jose. Thanks, Ella. Thank you for popping that in there. Thank you. I think next month next month will be time for a new deck. Nice. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. No, I haven't bought one in a while. I've been trying to be good about it. Although, you know what? I The Barnes and Nobles that's by me. Nobles? Noble. Barnes and Noble? Whatever. The Barnes and Noble that's by me actually has an amazing tarot section with some really cool decks that I hadn't seen. Um, Because it's so easy to just buy your decks off of Amazon, but I might... That might be where my next deck comes from. Because I was really impressed by some of the stuff that they had. Hey, Kelly, how's it going? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Woke up from a mid-morning nap to a, to a bun live stream. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Loving the beanie and the artwork. Thank you so much. Yeah, I look like a wet bandit today. That's, that's the vibe I'm going for. Although now I'm starting to get hot, so we'll see how long it lasts. And then you're just going to have a blonde poof. Uh, in, in a little square on your screen. Just a poof. It was say nobles too. I know, right? It is Barnes and Noble, isn't it? But I always put the S on there. Nobles. Barnes and Nobles? Barnes and Noble. I think it's Noble, but it feels better with an S. <laughs> Barnes and Nobles. Maybe it doesn't know that I say it again. Barnes and Nobles. Barnes and Nobles. Okay, now it's not even a word. You know when you say it so many times it's like not even a word anymore? That's where I'm at. Okay, let me get a couple of these bananas done here. Hold on. You guys are chatty today. I love it. I love it. Oof, my hand is like not, not great right now. Like my line work is not great at this moment. It's, it's, you can't really tell in this because of the mixed media really hides it, really hides it. My favorite conventions are MetroCon, MegaCon, Tampa Comic Con, and Spooky Empire. Ooh, Spooky Empire sounds fun. Um, I haven't done many conventions. I should do, I, I've always wanted to do the horror ones by me, or the Halloween ones. Um, I never really have. I used to go to Comic Con every year, but obviously haven't with the current situation. I just backed a Knitter's Oracle on Kickstarter. Oh, that's interesting. It'll be my fourth. Can't look at that section for too long or I'll get more decks. Yeah, I bet. Oh my gosh. My first deck was the Londa Tarot, Real 90s Vampire Goth Boy Vibes. Ooh, I've never heard of that deck. That sounds fun. I worked there for 13 years and still say nobles sometimes. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> a lot better. I guess my first one was my mother's actually, so it was gifted to me. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a that's a special deck, Fiona. That's cool. Um, what do you guys do with all these decks? Well, I rotate mine around. Like I'll pull a card of the day every now and then, or if I'm in the mood for a reading, I'll just I rotate them around. And I have a little shelf up here by me, and I have like piles of them, and I just rotate them through. So like I kind of have like one deck on feature at a time and then I'll pull cards from it or do readings or whatever. Or in this situation, I'll pull out whatever card I'm gonna be working on to just get that vibe, you know? Texas Frightmare. Uh, no, I've heard that that's amazing. I haven't, I haven't been to that. Um, I haven't traveled for a convention, I'll put it that way. Um, so I've always only done 
the San Diego Comic Con just because it's it's local for me. I almost did. I almost went to TwitchCon. I was going to go to TwitchCon, and then I got pregnant. <laughs> so there's that. Um, stare at them. Yeah, right. I've been trying to pull one and learn what they mean. Sometimes I ask it a question. Yeah, for sure. That's great. Great ways to use it, Addy. For sure. I miss Comic Con. I've been going since 1999, but last year for me. The last year for me was uh, 2019 since COVID. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, I'm not in SD. I'm in I'm in LA. I'm in LA, so it's local and local enough. It's cl close-ish. Nothing, uh, nothing like that uh, Thursday night drive down to Comic Con uh, on the freeway. And then the extremely hungover Sunday drive coming back from Comic-Con. <laughs> the, hype, the hype drive going down and then the hungover drive coming back. But I love it so much. I, I miss Comic-Con so much. It is just such a blast. Definitely one of my favorite things. I look forward to going back. I wonder when they're going to do it again. I mean, talk about a lot of people gathering. Holy moly. <clears throat> and a mommy me too. Oh, yay. Yeah, local. Yeah, yeah, you catch my drift. You catch my drift. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a almost two-year-old boy. Have you ever been to Anime Jungle or Japantown? No, I have not. What's the difference to an Oracle deck? Uh, oh yeah, or tar tarot a tarot deck versus an Oracle deck is is very very different. Very different. Uh, how do I even start? <laughs> That's a very very different. Oracle decks can have a lot of. Um, how do I explain this? Someone help me explain this. Uh, a tarot a tarot deck has a very specific set of cards. It's like it tells the fool's journey. It has specific suits. There's specific numbers in each one of those things. Um, Oracle cards are going to be more like soul cards, inspiration cards. They're not specific. They can all be a little bit different. I don't own any Oracle decks, so I can't really speak to that a whole lot. Um, more like prayer card sort of vibe. They can just be really, really different. Um, versus a tarot, tarot decks, which is a very specific set of cards and meanings don't change from deck to deck. I don't have enough mommy streamers. I know, well, it's, it's hard, you know, that's why I literally just, Paige, I just got back to Twitch. Like, I used to stream a lot pre-baby, um, and then literally I got pregnant and I stopped streaming because I just couldn't, I couldn't deal, um, you know, and then obviously he's older now that I have actual work days now and he's in school and it's a lot better. And oh man, Comic-Con week is an experience. I always love it. My feet hate me after, but I live for it. Yeah, same. It's just the, oh God, it's the freaking best. There's just like such a mood. There's a Comic-Con mood and vibe that is just the best thing ever. I just pressed that blue box to the left. What was that? Sorry, I hope it was good. Uh, that might be your channel points. Cause I think you, you can now, that's a new Twitch thing. You can accrue points as you watch people's streams, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Um, the pain is almost like a souvenir. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, Paige, do you cosplay at all? Because I usually I usually pick a day that I cosplay, which is a whole other crazy town. Um, I'm in California, Little Tokyo. Oh, I've been to Little... I've been in Little Tokyo in downtown. I haven't sp spent a lot of time there, but uh, I've had food there. Con crud, oh my god, yes. They're always sick afterwards, it's so true. Hey, Caro, how's it going? Our journaling, nice. Yeah, I'm trying to warm my hand up, but um, I'm not I'm not being very successful at it. Um, I may finish these bananas and switch to something else tarot related, because I don't know if my hand is in decent shape right now for detailing. Some days are, are better than others. I 
I've also had a lot of coffee, which probably isn't helping. Although, wait, no, I'm drinking decaf right now, but I had a, I had a caffeinated cup. can have a bunch of themes. I have some really cool indie ones. Yeah, it's like there it's like themes and like each card has different messages. Um yeah, the, the Oracle decks can be so so different. I don't know a lot about tarot tarot and oracle, but the Oracle deck I got is all about color and emotions linked to each other. Yeah, it's it's usually like uh I just keep the same like soul cards like uh Some of them can be like blessings or like yeah, they just have really a wide range of meanings. Then I only have one deck. The cards are tiny. The others are healing oracle decks. Ah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, collecting decks. Tarot and oracle is quite the rabbit hole. It so is. Oh my gosh. It's like you get one and you just snowball. Especially if you see one with like imagery that like resonates for you. You just you want all the things. I do cosplay very casually, but yes. Yeah, isn't that fun? I started cosplaying the last couple of times that I had gone to Comic-Con, and I was, oh my god, it was so much fun. Um, I love it so much. And just, like, the prep work of, like, making it leading up to and everything. Uh, Linda, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, hey, little. Little I say. How's it going? Welcome. I'm doing good. How are you? That's a cute little emote. Those little, that little... What is that? It's like a pencil? That's adorable. X Plus is my favorite figure company because their sculpts are spot on. Oh, nice. Oh, I don't know anything about figurines or any of that. I like little things that come in mystery boxes. <laughs> I used to watch Listen to You on Twitch four years ago driving and waiting for volleyball to be over. Oh my gosh. It was a great time. I think you twitched around 4 p.m. Yeah, I used to twitch. Uh, that's right. Oh my god, I had 4 p.m. streams. Um, I streamed late afternoon evenings and then a couple times a week I did early morning streams for international people those were like my chill coffee streams and then we had the late afternoon um, art party uh, streams but I can't do that anymore I have to do mornings now <laughs> my life is completely different than it was all of those years ago I didn't realize there were more journaling Twitch folks just discovering. Happy to watch. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm trying to warm my hand up right now uh, before I switch to working on tarot cards. But I'm making mixed media tarot cards that are the same cookie style. Um, but yeah, at the core, I am an art journaler, indeed. Illustration, illustration, and art journaling mushed together. <laughs> I love collecting as one might have noticed in Discord. Yeah, right? Oh my gosh. Little, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you. Which art journal are you working on? Looks bigger than the moleskin. Oh, no, it's not. It's, uh, you can see with my hand. It's the, uh, uh, Strat this is actually the Strathmore Mixed Media um, sketchbook. I'm experimenting art journaling in it. I have never art journaled in it before. Uh, this is the soft cover. It's literally the same size as the moleskin. Um, I did just finish, actually, another journal spread in, in my moleskin. Let's see if I can find it. I just finished this one earlier this week, or last week? I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, it's the same size. Literally the same size. Um, I don't typically work much bigger than this. I like small, small size things. <laughs> Looks like it's holding up. Yeah, it seems to be. Um, the real test is gonna be as I continue to work in it, um, how the spine is going to react, which I don't quite know. Thanks guys, thank you everyone. I'm not quite sure yet. I have to do a few more spreads in it to really see how it's hold, how it's gonna do. Um, the, it handles the the paper handles it well. It's I more just want to see how the whole book reacts, which I don't I don't know yet. You know, 
This one's very much in progress. This also needs to be detailed. I could always detail this too after I get the bananas done. So, um, so far so good. I just want to see as I continue to bulk it up. We'll see. Uh, this one is specifically, I'm really trying to just do art journaling stuff in this one and not have, um, you know, sketchbooky illustration stuff in here. Marike, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So yeah, actually I can probably uh, detail um, those envelopes. Okay. Let me try to get these last couple of bananas down here. Is that my music or is there a cricket in here? No, it's the music. Oh my God. I hate crickets. I literally thought there was a cricket in here. <laughs> Ugh. That really freaked me out. Okay. I'm gonna illustrate something on all these little um, the little fruit tags, but I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. No, I haven't been able to do any art since your last stream, and I'm still in bed. Oh no, I'm getting antsy. My creativity is bubbling. I mean, at least your creativity is like you like you're you're wanting to make something, right? That's better than not. Uh, than not being motivated or inspired, right? What is your approach with the order? I know you don't work in order, but do you know if a book likes it more if you work in random or in order? Um, it depends. I I typically don't work in order. Um, just I just don't in general. Like even in my sketchbooks, um, but. I find that I'm, especially in this situation, I'm working out of order because I can get certain signatures to lay flat as I work in them. I think it helps reduce the bumpage, if that makes any sense, working out of order. Um, Cause you're keeping kind of a more balanced weight as you work through signatures. So it impacts kind of the whole spine. At least that's my experience. Uh, same with altered book journaling. Like my altered books, um, I definitely work out of order there because uh, then they can lay a little bit more flat. Um, even just from an artwork perspective, working out of order allows for kind of the bulk to help flatten things. That's how my pages also stay really flat. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of things you can do to help your pages stay flat, but working out of order does help. Um, hi, nice to be here. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, Marike. Hi. Uh, what inspired you to art journal? Uh, I started art journaling many years ago um, after extreme art school burnout. I was really burned out uh, working on my master's degree in painting and drawing and started art journaling because it was completely different than the stuff I was doing. I was really sick of oil painting and charcoal drawings and <laughs> really boring traditional classical art making and I started uh, journaling in my spare time as a stress relief from art school and then it just sort of took off from there um, it was also like a really great way for me to fuse my illustration work uh, with my mixed media stuff so my art journaling is uh, very jam-packed and chaotic uh, and fused with illustration. So it's a, yeah, it, it just fits, fits well with my style, you know? <laughs> hey, Shy, how's it going? Uh, hope you, you, hope you and yours are doing well. Yes, much better, much better now. Uh, had lurchy, 
had some up upset tummy issues earlier this week, which is why I wasn't streaming on Monday or Tuesday. But he's doing much better now. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Uh, I guess so since I get to create so little, I'm usually, I'm usually inspired. Oh, okay, gotcha. So you're just like, you're just itching to make art for Fiona, it sounds like. I'm a journal girl, nice. But I'm just art journaling. Uh, if I'm very sad and have confusing thoughts and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's, um... It's a great way to process emotions, right? Because it's it's just like so freeing. There's no rules. I definitely understand that. A lot of my work, this actually looks very happy. Um, a lot of my stuff is on the darker side usually, or certainly my older stuff. Um, because uh, I dealt with a lot of uh, anxiety, and art journaling for me really was a helpful way to process a lot of that. I think I'm gonna outline out this blood here. Um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm a little strict with keeping things in order, but I'm scared my spine will break on me. So thinking of switching up the order. Yeah, uh, try, try mixing it up. Try working out of order. Um, it will be weird for you at first, probably, especially if that's not how you work, because it's gonna feel really um, unnatural. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, just give it a, just give it a go. Just try. Um, it also helps too, like if you're in an altered book. It obviously, it depends on what kind of book you're working in. Working out of order, you have pages in between. So if your spine is starting to go downhill, you have that leeway to glue things together if you need to. If you need to strengthen things or glue certain you know signature back pages together whatever you got to do it gives you that flexibility whereas if you start in the beginning and just start bulking 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 you're gonna have all that weight in the front of your book and it will be harder to repair or manage basically uh, when our journal is mostly back in the background yeah I mean my, I totally totally get that uh, a lot of my stuff is usually a lot darker um, and gory, usually, sometimes. I don't know, creepy. It's creepy. <laughs> creepy and spooky? Creepy, spook, creepy, spooky, wild. Surreal? I feel like that encompasses my stuff. Good to see you art journaling, thank you. I picked up my Hollow Ground altered book from way back and I'm creating some new spreads. Ooh, nice. I love the nature of that class. Yeah, me too, I really, that class is very near and dear to my heart because it just, uh, that class just came out of nowhere. Um, mm. Gabby, Gabby, creepy. Yes, Ella. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, Hollow Grounds. That class just like, it, it just poured out of me. Um, it was really topical also for me because it was, it really reflected what I was currently doing in my work at the time that it came out. Um, there's also just really cool techniques in that class that's really different from my other ones. So yeah, I, I, that class has a special, special spot for me. I hope you enjoy the cosplay pics I sent you. Yeah, Zig, I'll take a look uh, after stream. I'll take a look. Do you know the Traveler's Notebooks? Of course I do. I love the size and the different inserts. Yeah, oh my gosh. I had a TN for a while. Um, I had a knockoff cover. <laughs> Um, but I did have the actual like Midori inserts and they're really great. I'm in a smaller, um, I switched to Hobonichi. So I'm in a Hobonichi now for my planner journaling, which is different. That's more of like my personal journaling. Um, that's this. I don't do this on stream or on YouTube though. This stuff's on my, um, this is on my Patreon because it's much more personal. I have like personal journaling. Uh, same with my five year. I have a five year Hobonichi too. Um, I don't do either of those things publicly because <laughs> it's got personal writing and stuff in it. But I have quite a bit is on my Patreon where I feel more comfortable sharing it there. Okay, 
let's outline all of this blood stuff. Um, yeah, I had a TM for a while. When I started working in a what I call my planner journal, it's kind of like where my to-do lists are and like where I have photos and like collage. It's like junk journaling, planning, and personal writing journaling all mushes together. Um, I started with a TM, the, like the standard TM size. Uh, but then that ended up just getting too, it felt too big for me. And then I was using the really lightweight Midori paper and I loved the crinkly nature of it so much that I decided to plunge into uh, Hobonichi's for 2021. So I've been, I've been in the Hobonichi life since uh, the end of last year. Cause I ordered all the, the new 2021s. So I'm in an A6, A6 Hobo now. The, uh, the Avec, the two, the two parter. I enjoy it very much, although I'm terribly behind at the moment. Uh, but it's also just a nice place to dump things like memorabilia and I have a little, my little Canon IV printer. I print photos and stuff. Kind of how I scrapbook, I guess. It's a hot mess. <laughs> it's a cute hot mess, I guess you could say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's a good time. It's a good time. I've actually been trying to catch up on my five year. Um, I'm like five days behind or something like that. But I have post-its in telling me what is what, so... It's not that bad. Okay, my hand is getting warmed up. It's getting warmed up. Uh, K Basile one, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I feel a piece of hair in my arm somewhere. Oh, I see it. Oh, gotcha. I'm so behind on my Hobonichi A6. I think next year I'll go back to the weeks and just do sketchbooks. Yeah, I, I, I hear ya. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the same, not gonna lie. Um, cause I'm super behind. I may switch to the weeks, but the weeks, isn't it's big though, right? Whatever that next size up is, it's not the the small, the A6 size, which I don't know if I want that much space. But I guess if you have a week and it's not daily, I don't know. Uh, I joined your Patreon yesterday. Those digital downloads are so amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. You love my weeks. Yeah, I don't. Uh... I just liked the idea of having the daily, which to be fair. To be fair, I do fill it up quite a bit because I, I put a lot of like um, to-do lists in there and like idea lists and I do use it up. Um, and then it's interspliced by the personal stuff. And those of you who are on my Patreon, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep with the A6 and then I'll decide later. <laughs> I'll decide as uh, 2022 approaches when I go to order all the Hobonichi things. Uh, this is funny. My mom wants a five year. She's seen my five year and she's like, I need this. She's like, get me one. I'll start now. And I'm like, mom, you can't just buy a five, a five year now. They're like impossible to find. There's not to mention they're so expensive. You know, I'm talking about the thin one. Oh, the weeks is three, three by five by seven and a half. Oh, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. It's like TN size with all the days on one side and the grid on the right. Oh yeah, no, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want to be back in a TN size. Meh. Behind in my mastery planner, but it's okay. How do you like the mastery planner? It has a, it has a, um. A spiral in it though, doesn't it? I've heard the mastery paper is good, but I just don't know if I'd like the spiral. 
I also have Hobonichi A6 for personal journal journaling. I sticker it up as well. Yeah, same. So some days there's less writing. Helps to keep up daily. Yeah, for sure. Gotta get those sticky club stickers in there. Your girl is obsessed. I've gotten all three packs the last couple months and now it's like becoming a problem. Although to be fair, my sticker organization is oh, chef's kiss beautiful. <laughs> my stickers are so organized, you guys. It's not even funny. Yeah. Are you getting a cover too? Uh, no, probably not like an official one because the covers are freaking expensive, man. Um, and my five year, I'm not gonna put a cover on that because it's like, it feels so nice and I want it to get kind of like beaten up a little bit. Um, I've been tempted to decorate the box though, but I, I'm, I don't know. Because sometimes I stick it in the box, the five year. I don't know. Um, you inspired me to get a five year. Really glad I got it. Actually managed to catch up all of January. Got it in February. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, it, isn't it satisfying now that like we're ha almost halfway through the year? It's like, it looks so cool. Like, oh, I love it. It makes me so happy. And it's like chalky and the crinkle. It makes me so happy. I love it so much. Um, you can get a Midori, no dates, five year. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Well, she can wait. I think she wanted like the official one with the dates on it. Because I also just know her. If I get her one that doesn't have dates in it, she'll never use it. Like, I think the dates will help keep a fire under her butt to like actually write in it. Does that make sense? I love Sticky Club too. I know. It's so addicting. Um, way behind with sketches though, slapping it with stickers to fill in blank space. Yeah, I get, I get that. I've been doing just a lot of like big watercolor swatches. Um, although I did just, I had a big catch up sesh last night and I was actually sketching things, but now I have things I need to actually go back and illustrate, which is like, meh. Um, my daughter decorated the five-year box on day one because she got to my pen before me. Oh, that's kind of sweet though. That's kind of fun. I don't, I don't know if I'd let Roman unleash on my box. I don't know. I let him unleash on a lot of things. I think Sticky needs to sponsor you. Since I joined your Patreon, I got Sticky and now get two packs. I know. St Sticky does know who I am though, I'm pretty sure. Um, Cause there's times where I've gotten extra packs that I didn't order. Um, I've also talked to them on email. So I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever collaborate with them at some point I'm not sure uh, crinkle love yes oh, love crinkly paper it makes me so happy um okay let's detail some envelopes I don't know if my hand is ready yet you guys are distracting me I keep talking just wait until the right one comes oh like the covers you mean maybe I, didn't, I just didn't like any of the 2021 ones meh meh wasn't my vibe but you're probably right if they come up with one that's that I like I will probably pay the what is it they're normally like 95 bucks a pop or whatever it is oh my god oh my god but I guess you reuse the cover right that's in theory I love my little knockoff cover that I got on Etsy though <laughs> I hope I can get a five-year next year it's really great it's very satisfying um, I, I'm semi afraid to commit to a five year. I was a little bit too, but honestly, because of how expensive it was <laughs> and the space is so small, it's not a lot of space to write. It actually is way more doable than you think it's going to be. Mm. And building it into your routine is key. Linda, I used to do it every morning, like when I would have my coffee and my son would be eating breakfast and I would just really quickly do it while he was eating breakfast. It was like I had 10 minutes, like it was a very limited window. And that was how I stayed up to date. I was literally like to the day and I just did it every morning with my coffee while watching Roman make a mess, eating his breakfast. And then, um, but now he's older and he loves art supplies. And uh, he gets upset when I am drawing or doing things and he doesn't get to partake. So it has derailed my five year time of the day so now I'm like oh god 
Um, that's how I've fallen behind is I, mean, I have to rework when I sit down and do it now because I can't do it in the mornings, which was the best time. But Linda, you can do it. It's basically what I'm trying to tell you. You can do it. Especially the Tomlow River paper crinkle. I know it's so yummy. It's so yummy. The crinkle. <sighs> um, I get my first vaccine shot in two weeks. Yay, Ella, how exciting. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that's awesome. Being, being fully vaccinated is like the best. It's a really good feeling. I will tell you that. Love the spread. Thank you, Postal. Thank you. Of course, you keep it forever. They gain in value too. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Even though you probably want to keep it. Yeah. I guess I guess I really can't say that I'll never buy a cover. You're, you're right, Fiona. Who knows? Who knows? Back girls. Hey, how's it going? Been thinking about getting one, but I feel like I don't do enough to have it fill up all chonky. Oh, you mean the five year? You'd be surprised. I really don't, this is just, I don't put a lot of stuff in it because I'm scared it's gonna get chunky. Like I don't add paper or anything in there. Judy, hey Judy, thank you so much for that sub. And welcome to the stream, hello. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate your support here. Enjoy those, uh, enjoy all those fun festive emotes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I even have a sketchbook in my A5 cover because I have an A6 this year. I alternate. Oh, interesting. That's a fun, that's a fun way to use your cover. Um, great idea for a habit. Oh, Belle. Belle, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I thought my cap was on my water bottle and I just tried to twist it off even though it's open. Uh, Belle, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for your support here uh, on the channel. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, I'm missing chat. You guys are, I can't keep up with chat today. Um, yeah, great idea for a habit. I'm currently doing a doodle a day, so maybe next year I can start a five year. I know it's hard with kids to plan anything at all. Yeah, it really, it's, it's tough. Um, but you know, the five year, especially the, um, the Hobonichi one, it's a really small space. So if you're do if you're doing doodle a day already and you can keep up with that, just slide the five year right into that slot. You know what I mean? Like right into that creative time. Um, and you can do it. It's it's all about just making it a habit. That's the only way that you'll do it. Um, I know some people keep their five year like by their nightstand, like they'll do it before they go to bed at night. Um, or if you're a morning person, do it right when you wake up, whatever it is. I think if you can have it like bookend your day somehow, it really helps. Uh, lurker for a bit. No worries, Judy. Thank you so much. Enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your lurk. Uh, I'm getting stuffy. Why is my nose getting stuffy? I've just hit finals week. Oh my gosh. So I'm booked on that. Saw the replay from last stream and ugly laughed when Nintendo Switch talk popped in. <laughs> yes. Good luck on your um, on your finals, uh, bad girls. Good luck. Ooh, I did not miss school or tests or any of that business. Oh my gosh. Did you like uh, the two I posted in Discord? The one with the charms. I'll post some pictures of all my covers uh, in and out on Discord later. The inside is very beautiful, mate. Oh yeah, I want to see your covers. Honestly, I got really distracted with your charms. You had one charm with like a little dog or something that looked so cute, so so cute. Um. I definitely want to get some, some charms, some charmies, um, that I'm sure once I clip them onto my planner will drive me absolutely insane. I've always been on the lookout for charms, but I haven't, um, found any that I particularly like, you know, I feel like I need like an Etsy shop recommendation of planner charms and I can just peruse and go from there. Looking back on your filled hobos is extremely gratifying, guys. I can only recommend. It's true, it's really satisfying. Um, especially that crinkle. Happy to support. Thank you so much, Belle, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, do I wanna do black on these little envelopes? I think I wanna do black on these. That was my original intent. Or do I wanna do white? Do. 
that was one of the enamel charms from Charm Club I told you about. Oh, yeah, that one was really cute. Really, really cute. The other thing, too, is that I'm always looking for, like, spooky charms. Like, I want, like, Halloween charms, you know? Um, I need cute, cute spooky stuff. And I think that's, I just haven't found something spooky enough. <laughs> you know? Okay. Let's see how the white looks on this. Hey, ghost girl, how's it going? Happy to have the day off to do some art. Nice. Nothing better. So many people are doing cute resin stuff now. Oh, that's true. I just, I think I just need recommendations. If anyone has recommendations for charm shops or shops that make cute planner charms, spooky cute planner charms, please share it over on my Discord uh, or in the Buy Bun Discord or the Patreon Discord, whatever. Um, give me some recommendations so I can peruse. And look. Oh no, little so I write your internet. I assume you've gotten it back though if you're chatting. Internet issues are the worst. Do I want this to be white? Oh, the white's kind of fun. Okay, hold on. This is really out of whack, sorry. Charms, you can look into pro progress keepers on knitting supplies. Oh, it's a huge thing in the knitting world to put all sorts of charms on your knitting. I like to call it jewelry for your knits. Ooh, interesting. And check them out around Halloween. They have holiday collections. Ah, okay. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong time of year. I was just looking for the comics from the pool and stumbled upon a book named The Book of Forks. I'm in treat. What? Is this like a comic book? Or like a... Just a book about forks. That's interesting. I just posted on Discord about a comic called Neurocomic, an educational comic about the brain. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I'm down. I'm down. Keep those uh, monthly suggestions going, you know? I just got the June book yesterday. Uh, it is sitting on my dining room table. I'm probably going to start that today because June is going to be a really busy month for me. Um, I have family visiting. It's James's birthday month. There's all sorts of stuff going on. So I'll probably need to get ahead on my Patreon content. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, patrons, uh, the sticky video and sticker organizing video will be up on Monday. Picture. Is that a shadow on the floor? You mean like down here? Or you mean actually on the floor? What are you talking about? Behind me? Um. It's called Charm It. They'll be your new addiction. Oh. You're so lucky I can't get them anymore. They're local to you. I'll send you a link in Discord. Yeah, it's just give me a link for sure. And I'll take a look. Yes, the June pick is Night Lights. Yeah, my artwork. Oh. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a weird photograph of actually hands like... Like, there's someone, like, pulling someone's arm this way. It's hard to tell. And this is, like, netting or something. It's a really strange old 
photograph, like a chunk of a photograph. Um, and then this is the original picture that I just, I cut her out. So she was sitting over here. Um, Cause you can see the front bar of his little walker or a walker. It might actually be her walker. Um, so it's just kind of weird. It's the third in the series. Oh, interesting. I mean, does the artwork look cool? I don't know if I like the white on the envelopes. I might need to do, um, I might need to do black on this because then I can distress it a little bit. Let's do black. Let's try the black on top of the white. Am I gonna create more work for myself and do both? Potentially. Hmm. I think black is the way to go on this. We're gonna do black. We're gonna do black. Thank you, I love it. Oh, thank you so much. The cover was the thing that caught my eye before I saw the title. Interesting. Ella, you might just have to post a link to that in the Discord just so that we can snoop it. Does it have good reviews? Boo boo, peanut. Do you guys wanna see Boo Boo? I think she's outside my door. Boo Boo, I hear a squeeb. Oh, it has five stars. Oh, interesting. Huh. Boo Boo, peanut. She might have scattered, let me see. Because dad's in the kitchen. That's why she's out here. Because dad's in the kitchen. Oh. Hi, boo boo. Hi, boo boo. The puppers are doing good. Hey, La Prima Nerda. How's it going? Uh, the Lurch is doing much better. Uh, if you were asking about Lurchy, he was having some some tummy issues earlier this week. And now we just got the squeeze. Boo boo, look up here. Good girl. Good girl. Isn't she looking old, you guys? She has so much gray now. It's crazy. Oh, boo -boo. oh sleepy squeeb. Sleepy little squeeb. She's only in here because James is like outside. She normally, uh, she doesn't hang out with me. <laughs> yeah, you're waiting for dad. Pug noises, just normal, normal pug noises. Um, hey, Red, how's it going? The little puppy face, I want to smoosh her. I know, she's very cuddly. Oh yeah, she just, oh, she's just using me right now. That's all. Yeah, she's daddy girl. She wants dad. Here, go see dad. Go ahead. Yeah. 
she literally went right back to the door because she heard James <laughs> bawling at the door like, I'm done with you, ma'am. I'm done. I thought maybe I could get a treat out of you or something. Dad is my main squeeze. I'm out of here, ma'am. She's keeping me because of the snoring. I know she's so noisy. Doing fine, just working and listening. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, she's uh she's very cute. She's very cute and cuddly. She uh I will say she loves James during the day. Because James takes her to work uh upstairs and he feeds her treats since all you know, she's spoiled rotten. Um and then, but at nighttime though, let me tell you, it's like as soon as the sun goes down, she's all about mom. She cuddles with me on the couch. She's with me in the bed. She's all about mom. So she does, she does pick her favorites. At certain times of the day. Or as James likes to say, all roads still return to mom. <laughs> okay, my hand does feel uh, steady here. <laughs> oh no, what's going on? Oh, there we go. Ooh, I thought my stream cut out, it was just my player. Olive playing favorite? Never. I know. And also the hubs and I have been binging Rick and Morty like over and over again. And James's voice for her sounds like Mr. Poopy Butthole. Does it? I have to think about it. I have to listen to it. Because I haven't, uh, I haven't heard his voice in a while. I guess a little bit, yeah. <laughs> James's voice is, for Olive is really funny. Actually, James's voice uh, for her predates uh, Mr. Mr. PB. Actually, we've had all of her over six years. Isn't that crazy? Which maybe not. I guess in real dog ownership, you probably have dogs for a while, but because we always adopt senior dogs we don't have them for very long so olive it's like we've had her forever <laughs> we named our golden olive oh she's a little over a year oh still a baby still a baby does lurchy have a voice yeah it's like oh no <laughs> I guess Lurch looks so worried all the time. So the voice we do for Lurch is like he's falling down a well, basically. <laughs> uh, James's Lurch voice is particularly good. It's usually just, oh no! <laughs> Our dogs have voices too. That's what I thought. Um, but maybe he was just at work, just wandering around talking like Jeeves. Maybe, I mean, I doubt it. Uh, Mr. PB is a very Justin voice, though, from from what I can tell, at least. It's it seems that way. I think he does that voice. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So Lurch's Lurch's voice is always like he's falling down something. Um, or he doesn't know like where he is. How did I get here? And then also like, it's real. <laughs> like he can never believe something's happening to him. It's real. Mom. Dad. I'm real. <laughs> or he can like never believe that he's getting attention. Someone's petting me. Searched a bit more about the comics I just found. 
and they are weird. I'm gonna say exactly the perfect weird, uh, weird for comic book club. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm excited to check these out, Ella, that you found. I'm really intrigued. Definitely uh, pop it, pop it in the Discord for sure. My husband replies for a dog with I'm a dog. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I feel like most of us have voices in mind for our pets. I feel like that's a normal like pet ownership thing. Because all every animal has its own like attitude, right? So naturally you would make a voice for it. before I smudge one of these envelopes. I will say, I think my hand is pretty warmed up, so I might, once this is outlined, I think we could start working on those uh, Wheel of Fortune bits. <clears throat> I'm down for anything weird, yeah, for sure. Gotta go to bed, so happy I finally catched the stream. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for hanging out. I'm glad I got to see you in chat there for a bit, Ink. See you later. Keep up your gorgeous, gorgeous work you're doing. Keep it up. Keep it up. What sketchbook are you working on for this journal? This is actually the Strathmore Mixed Media Sketchbook. I'm experimenting with art journaling in it, so I can't vouch yet that it's totally good for art journaling. I'm experimenting with it. So far, so good. Uh, the paper, the paper is good for it, but I'm really, um, trying to test how it does long-term, uh, building spreads into it. That's, uh, TBA. Yeah, me too. I'm holding back on ordering them yet. Yeah, I will when they end on a comic book club, <laughs> on a comic book club poll. I feel like I need an abbreviation for comic book club because it's so like comic book club wordy sounding. Gotta hop off, but have a great rest of the stream. Ciao, ciao. Bye, Linda. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time. I should finish another sketchbook first. <laughs> Story of everyone's life, right? You always want to get the new, a new sketchbook, but it's like, oh, I have so many to finish first. Um, this one is, it's a great sketchbook. It takes all sorts of media. I think it has beat out the, it's beat out the Moleskin Art Plus for me, for sure, for illustration stuff. Um, I think that's why I wanted to test it for art journaling, because if this does well for art journaling, that might be the end of the road for my moleskin art pluses. We'll see. I want to practice inking next with actual nibs. I feel ready now. I tried a few years back, but was still uh, too busy with more basic issues. Ooh, nice. Yeah, revisit it. Do it. Do it. Um... 
Yeah, I never really got into nib stuff. It's it's like a texture thing for me. Um, I just really prefer a brush. I think that's just because I feel comfortable with this medium to begin with. I like the size of it, keep testing. I have delusions journals, but they can get quite big and heavy. Oh yeah, yeah, those aren't bad. Um, I hate the covers on the delusions journals though. Oh, they drive me crazy. Uh, delusions have too many pages. I have two and sort of regret them. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I mean, they they don't they don't bulk up well. I don't think. Um, and the covers really bother me. I think I had like one when I really early days. Um, in art journaling, but most of my art journals are altered books. They're not uh, blank books. Um, only more recently have I really, I haven't done a lot of altered book stuff. I've preferred being in a blank book lately for some reason. It's just my current season, I guess. done with this ink oh my gosh I'm almost done with this ink bottle whole, whole bottle of ink here oh my gosh wow okay <clears throat> order the comic for June and two more oops I know I ordered, oh, I ordered Beautiful Darkness uh, last month, so I have that too, and then I have the June pick too. Um, I still think Beautiful Darkness could end up getting voted into a month, so like, I want to read it really bad, but I'm also like, oh, let me wait, because if this gets voted as a month pick, you know, I want it fresh in my mind, especially for making videos. And like capturing my first impression and all that it's so hard not to not to read it anyways though so if any of you guys are talking about it I virtually am working with a nib right now and was thinking to myself how much I prefer it to brushes I wanted to ask why you prefer brushes I feel with nibs I have so much more control yeah I mean nibs are gonna be closer to a pen right I mean like it is in a in a weird way <laughs> so um yeah if you're more comfortable usually with pens and brushes you know going the nib route is probably going to be better um i agree it's so good for experimenting with paint and other mediums but the cover is tough yeah i hate the cover i always rip the covers off mine how many are in one delusions journal a, a lot there's a lot of pages they're chonky they're really chalky. And the pages are super thick too, so it, it really bulks up fast. I want to use my nibs more, but they're kind of scratchy. Yeah, it's a texture thing. I don't like it. Um, and also, the nibs too are going to really restrict you to a certain type of paper. Because certain papers react well to nibs and others don't. So that's something you have to think about. Not only do you have to think about how your ink is on the paper, but you also have to think about how your nib is on the paper. Less so with a brush. I have to really just kind of be thinking about how the ink reacts on the paper and less about how the brush is. I never thought to use an actual brush for inking. Yeah, Fiona, if you feel, again, it's kind of, what do you feel more comfortable with usually when you make art? Is it normally pens? Then you might want to go with a nib first. Uh, or if you're really comfortable with brushes, detailing with a brush you know inking with a brush might be more your speed um i've always had a steady hand with painting um which is why the brushes are better for me i mean don't get me wrong i like pens too but i just feel like i can create some kind of different variations of line work from a nib, and I also just don't like necessarily the, the textural feel of a nib. I just ordered Night Lights, Equity, and Beautiful Darkness. Nice. 
That's a good, uh, it's a good pile. It's a good pile. Yeah, I really want to read Beautiful Darkness. It's just because it's sitting on my got a shelf of stuff and I want to read it. But again, if, if Comic Book Club votes for it a month, then I'm, I don't want to be in a position where I have to reread something again. brushes which brushes are good for inking um it I you know I use a wide variety the um the zen I used to use the um the zen uh royal and lane nickel brushes that was what I started with when I was doing inking stuff um <laughs> wow is that Andrew welcome to the stream thank you so much <laughs> it took me a second your uh, username is like in a crazy blue color for me um, but thank you. Um, yeah, so I started with the, uh, Royal and Lane Nickel Zen brushes when I first started inking. Um, they have some really good affordable, um, detail brushes, but since then I have graduated into Princeton brushes. Um, this is a Princeton Heritage brush, round size two. Um, I have, actually, there are detail brushes in my Amazon storefront somewhere. Um, a few different ones that I like to use. But this one's been my main my main squeeze lately. Oh yeah, sorry, ghost girl. Uh oh, we might have gotten timed out there. Um, I have it so that only only mods and viewers that have been watching for a certain extent can post links. So sorry if you were trying to post my uh, post a brush link or something. Sorry about it. You're gonna be timed out for a hot minute. Sorry. Um, if you guys ever do want to post a link and you're like uh, someone that is normally in chat or whatever, just, just ask and um, myself or a mod can give you permission in chat. Oh, oh awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry, ghost. Oh, thank you. Oh, yay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, La Prima Nerda. Thank you. I wasn't sure if you had an easy... I didn't know if that was um, Twitch that did it or uh, Stream Elements. I think it was probably Stream Elements that did it. Thanks, I forgot about that. Yeah, sorry. It's just easier to have that in place because sometimes when I was streaming a lot, people would come in and drop weird links to stuff and it's just weird. So it's just easier to have like a blanket rule in place. like stream elements ah okay i was looking for it yeah i don't even really fully know all the mod stuff because it's just it's been such a long time um from when i was streaming a lot most of those settings haven't changed but i just don't know where it what it looks like for you guys like as mods on your end like I don't know what like quick button abilities you have you know I to brush up on my mod skills yeah don't worry about it you guys will you'll get there mod squad it's okay there's a setting where you can turn on mod buttons in the chat so the option was right by ghost name oh there you go 
Okay, that's helpful. Um, you mods might want to think about having that setting turned on potentially <laughs> so that you can do quick actions. to getting all these little envelopes done here. So close. Um, is it Vivian? Vivian Wolf Yoga, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I'm learning too, I know. Aren't we all? <laughs> We're all learning. <laughs> Twitch is so different than when I was streaming even just a couple years ago. It's a lot has changed. Like last time we actually raided somebody um, and the raid button, it's like a button now. It's like, it's so much different. I used to have to like put a command in chat. It's so, so different now. It's crazy. I found YouTube videos. Also my other mod for our D&D &D stream. We'll time out our plans using chat for too many puns. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm sure there's some handy mod YouTube videos that I, sh I should watch as well. Um, but I haven't. I haven't. To be fair, though, I was watching a lot of, like, getting your stream set up. OBS. Fixing your old-ass OBS. <laughs> and fixing your scenes and your... All, this, all the things. Then I untimed them out just to annoy them. <laughs> That's really funny. Is my face in the camera? Okay, it's not. Okay, we're good. I think all these little envelopes need a lot more detail, but I'll let Future Bun deal with that. at least get some bones done okay all right cool let's go check on youtube too nice nice i'm sure there's like how to be a mod how to be a mod five ten things to know as a mod <laughs> on youtube there's gotta be that those kind of videos i'm sure um okay let me leave this out so that it dries. Uh, let's get some of these little bones done. These bones and things. Can I get all these inked? I don't know. I don't know. Let's move this over here. This will just keep on camera for fun. And then we will start working on these. Do I want to start this? I am getting hungry, I'm not gonna lie. How long have I been streaming? An hour and 37 minutes. Okay, I might, I can't believe I just art journaled this whole time. Um, I feel like I got barely anything done. What did I do on <laughs> stream? <laughs> um, okay, I I might stop stream here only because it's 12.30, which I feel like is a, a good stopping point here, and I am getting a little hungry. Um, I'll have to look for those too. I know, I need to do it as well. Um, I just don't know if I wanna start this. And because I used up most of my ink too. I don't have any ink in my well over here. I might wrap up here. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop stream here because I'd rather have energy and tasks to stream again tomorrow, potentially. I'd like to stream tomorrow. Um, Pink4870, thanks for the follow. 
Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, I need to go. I need to go eat um, and all that good stuff. Glad I found you before you stopped the stream. Thank you. Oh yeah, no worries. Thanks for, thank you for the follow and for popping in. Um, normally I work on my mixed media tarot cards. I just happened to be journaling today because my hand was, um, I needed to warm up my hand, which took me that entire time. And what I even got done, I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Um, but yeah, I'd like to try to stream tomorrow. Um, let me see who, um, let's see who else is streaming and maybe we can find someone to raid. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Bailey streaming. Um, we can raid Bailey. Why not? Let's read Bailey. Why not? Um, yeah, thanks guys for hanging out. Uh, I know I kind of like announced it last minute too. Like, hey, I'm streaming today. Um, I just wasn't sure with, with Lurchy and whatnot. I wanted to make sure that he was like, okay, before I was uh, streaming. So again, sorry for not streaming earlier this week. Um, yeah, I had to, be a, had to be a dog mom. Uh, but thanks so much for hanging out, guys. It was a chill but chatty stream. I think we were just talking a lot in chat. <laughs> <That's why. laughs> I didn't really get that much done. Although to be fair, like I really wanted to get this stuff outlined, which I did. So we did make some progress, but not a lot, but either way, it's always a good time. You guys are always so fun in chat. So thank you for hanging out. Um, let's go, let's go raid Bailey. Come with me to raid, uh, Bailey who is streaming. Um, yeah, thank you so much. All oh, those emotes are so cute. Thank you for using the emotes. And thank you for all of the subs and the resubs. Um, I appreciate that so much. Um, okay, come with me to raid Bailey J. Where? Hold on. I have to get her. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second here. Um, I'm gonna try to stream tomorrow. I would, oh, it's B-A-Y, okay. Hold on. Uh, I'd like to try to stream tomorrow, if possible. So just keep an eye out uh, in Discord or uh, on Instagram, and that is where I will let you guys know um, when I'm streaming. Uh, hopefully we can actually work on some tarot. I really would like to get back into this project and get going on it. Um, but thank you so much guys. I will hopefully see you tomorrow. We'll do some tarot. Uh, I'll let you know on Instagram or in discord. Uh, come with me to raid Bailey. Let's put a bunch of pugs, uh, pugs and bananas in her chat. Uh, it looks like she's drawing something. So let's go, let's go see what she's doing. Uh, join me to go raid. Otherwise I will see you guys, uh, in the next one. Thank you so much. 